Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a super practical skill that's essential for healthcare professionals, students, or anyone interested in medical techniques. We're talking about how to cannulate tricky veins. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to refine your skills, this video is for you. Let's get started. First things first, let's talk about preparation. Cannulating tricky veins requires patience, the right tools, and a solid technique. Here's what you'll need. A cannula, choose the right size for the patient, a tourniquet, alcohol wipes, gloves, and of course, confidence. Step one, assess the vein. Tricky veins can be small, deep, or rolling. Look for a vein that's straight and has the best chance of success. If you're struggling to find one, try using a warm compress to dilate the veins or ask the patient to pump their fist gently. Step two, apply the tourniquet. This helps make the veins more visible. Place it a few inches above the intended site, but don't leave it on for too long, just enough to identify the vein. Step three, clean the area. Use an alcohol wipe to disinfect the site. This reduces the risk of infection and ensures a clean puncture. Step four, stabilize the vein. For tricky veins, use your non-dominant hand to anchor the vein by gently pulling the skin taut. This prevents the vein from rolling. Step five, insert the cannula. Hold the cannula at a 15 to 30 degree angle, depending on the depth of the vein. Insert it smoothly and watch for a flashback of blood in the chamber. Once you see that, lower the angle and advance the cannula slightly further into the vein. Step six, thread the cannula. While holding the needle steady, gently thread the plastic cannula into the vein. Then remove the needle and release the tourniquet. And that's it. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you don't succeed on the first try, don't get discouraged. Tricky veins can be challenging, but with these tips, you'll improve over time. Here are a few bonus tips. Use a vein finder device if available. Communicate with your patient to keep them calm and still. Always have a backup plan in case the first attempt doesn't work. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more medical tips and tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you've ever dealt with tricky veins and what techniques worked for you.